What's going on YouTube? Today, we got a very specific goal today. How to jig, how to... Today, we got a very specific goal today. How to vertical jig for fly, for... Today, we got a very specific goal today. How to vertical jig for crappie. So, we're gonna walk you through the steps, how I vertical jig, how I go about it, the whole process, but first, if you like these videos, smash that like button. If you don't like them, don't hit that thumbs down. Comment below what you don't like. And of course, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen and also below the video. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is locate structure. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do if you're going to start vertical jigging. Crappie are schooling fish. They like to, to school around structure. Now that's timber. Any brush piles, um, if you got pillars from uh, bridges or some dock piling, um, even rocks, you know, so, some sort of structure and big deep water weed beds. We're in the middle of July right now. It's midsummer crappie fishing. That's, that's what we're going after. So right now I'm just, I'm tooling around and finding these big brush piles that are not, I know are in here. Um, so that is what I'm looking for. There's big brush pile and there's some fish above it. These are the brush piles I'm looking at right here. This is a big brush pile. There's some fish above it. Now they're probably going to be in a little deeper water. I'm in, I'm in a little shallow right now. I'm in seven feet. So we're going to back up and go, go into some deeper water here. But once I find those, then I'm going to throw a buoy marker out. Okay. Here's that, here's that deeper structure. It's a wood pile and looks like there's some some weeds or some uh, fish on top of it so we are gonna set up and throw a bu buoy out over some of this once I get back over it okay there's our deeper structure right there so I'm gonna throw my buoy out Oop. that's the deeper structure we want to see so I got my buoy out I'll come back around to it okay so there's our buoy Probably gonna go right over the top of it. But that, that's the structure it's right on top of, okay? So now we gotta find the depth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film this thing as if you don't have a depth finder or an advanced one anyway. So we're just gonna find the depth based on the length of our rod, okay? You're just gonna measure the line length of your rod, go to the bottom, reel it back up. I'll figure it out. Okay, welcome back. So I got my buoy out. Now we're going to talk about depth. I'm going to assume you don't have a depth finder of any kind. I'm hoping that you can find some sort of brush pile or you're on a body of water that you know there are brush piles or weed beds or something like that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to let out enough line to the bottom of your rod. Okay, that's the best way to measure line if you don't have, or measure depth if you don't have any depth finder. Now this is a nine foot crappie pole. So I'm going to reel up until my jig is to the bottom. Now usually you don't want to have a split shot on, but I had it on from last time. It'll still work. Okay. So that is about to nine feet right there. So if I drop down, now that's just to show you the measurement. Now we just drop down to the bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to reel up so there isn't any more slack line. Okay, you're gonna reel right down to the water and you're gonna pick it up. So that right there is nine feet. Now you can double back down and this goes down to about, oh, I don't know, three quarters of the rod. So I'm in about six, 15 feet of water. That would have been my guess. I'm looking at my depth finder, it's 14 and a half, which is close enough. So that's how you get your depth. Now, crappie are suspended fish, especially midsummer. They're not gonna be on the bottom, so you don't wanna fish that bottom. You wanna be somewhere about three, four feet off the bottom, all the way to maybe five feet below the top of the surface. So we're first just gonna start at about 10 feet, just because it's a little easier to measure than anything else. So I'm gonna pull out line, 
Oops, I'm gonna pull out a little line. This is nine feet right there. Now I got about a foot extra, so that's 10 feet. All I'm gonna do is drop it right, drop the rod tip right to the surface. Straight down, right over the brush pile that I found. You gotta work a couple different jig patterns. Just work a different rhythm. You can even move it from side to side and even back and forth. Just trying to make that whatever jig you're using. It's a Marbu jig. Right now I'm using a 16th ounce uh, jig head with a blue, oh, with a blue uh, tube. It's got some white and uh, pink tail on it. So just mix up your pattern, move it around right over the top. And if it's not the right depth, you know, I usually like to start from the bottom up. So I've been on this lake before. They're, they're usually anywhere between five feet off the bottom all the way to about five feet below the surface. So that's why I started about 10 feet. Now, if they're seven feet, okay, you just pull your line up and reel up to where about seven feet is on your rod. If you got a seven foot rod, that's easy. This one's a nine foot, so I'm gonna reel up about, about to here. Right there, and drop it right down to the my rod tip right down to the surface. It'd be a big jump in depth, but I just wanted to prove a point here. I'm probably going to have to drop back down because I don't think they're that high in the water column. Luckily, it's a calm night, so I don't have to throw an anchor out. I'm just kind of moving around it with my trolling motor, but I'm still vertical jigging. Oh, there was one. It is hot tonight, by the way. Holy smokes, 93 out. Oh, and here come all the boats. Here come all the boats. You know, you throw one buoy out and everybody else thinks you're catching fish. You just might have to move it side to side, give it a little motion, especially on these really still days. You might not want it straight up and down. You might want a little bit of action like a running bait fish. Okay, hopefully this thing doesn't overheat. It's hot outside today. Holy smokes. So I switched it up a little bit here. Along with a uh, blue speckled little silver tail. We're going a little deeper. Maybe they're in a little deeper with this heat. To be honest, to find the right depth, you got to experiment a lot. So that might be what we're going to have to do today. There we go. There's a fish. Oh my goodness. What are we doing here? This is not the right school. This is not the right school of fish. Sometimes you might have to move. There we go. That's a good crappie too. That's what we came for. There we go. Well, he's about an eight and a half inch, which is a decent size for this lake, but that is the school we want. That is the school we want. And we're right over the top of them, I bet. <laughs> they were a little deeper, a little deeper water, that's all. There we go. Ooh, that's a, feels like a good fish. That's a bluegill. There we go. There's a crappie. It's number two in the boat. Not the big ones though. We gotta find the big school. Copy number three.
So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. Yep. There we go. Good size crappie. Ouch. I was gonna say, that looked like a bunch of fish stacked up. This hook got bent in, so it's kind of hard to get them out. Ouch. It's about a nine inch fish. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. So I thought, so I thought. So I thought I needed food. All right, so that's gonna end it for me today. Uh, I forgot to tell you that crappie schools move around. That's what I failed to do tonight. Failed to move around with them. And because of that, I only got four in the boat. I don't even know if I'm gonna, I got them in the live well, I'm not gonna. All right, Ugh, it's got something on his, got something on his fin there. I'm probably gonna throw him back, but uh, that's my, uh, this is my 10 inch crappie. I got an 11 in there, but. I'll dig it out later. So vertical jigging, key is anchor up on some structure, throw that buoy out, and then you're gonna have to change up your jigging tactics, and of course, move around with the school of fish. So we're gonna let him go. Always uh, leave a comment below. What is your favorite tactic to catch crappie? That's what I want you to answer below. So leave a comment, hit that like button, and of course, if you're not a, subscri if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Wow, I can't talk today. All right, I'll see you next time.